Tonight, temporary water supply provision in Tamavo installed. RFMF and police officers deployed to the Solomons. And later in sports, rebels dominate against Fijian rural women's team. Good evening, Fiji. The Water Authority of Fiji Chief Operating Officer Seru Soderberg confirms that they have installed the newly fabricated band piece by contractor Elisha Engineering Limited. Soderberg says this has been a success with backfiling and water supply restoration to commence from this afternoon into tonight. He says water cutting continues in affected areas. As you can see behind me, the team is now working on the installation of the uh, thrust block. Once the thrust block has been installed, we will then uh, open up the line and uh, recharge the trunk mains. Uh, we will be carrying out restoration to our customers along Rail Street, uh, Waimanu Road, uh, up to Raiwasa, in the elevated areas of Gaji, Beddows, Kanavi, uh, Matani Tombua, Boran Lekutu, Mal Street and Tonganivalu, uh, up to the hospital uh, from later this evening into tomorrow morning. Please do bear with us as the system recharges. Uh, pressure takes time to gradually build and uh, the team will be continuing with their flushing works um, from around 6 p.m. tonight into the early hours of tomorrow morning. A one-year-old boy is alleged to have drowned in a creek near his home in Navaivai settlement in Serua. A report was received at the Navo police station yesterday afternoon following the discovery of the child's body floating in a creek a few meters from his home. An investigation is underway to establish the circumstances surrounding the unfortunate incident. A post-mortem will be conducted to confirm the victim's cause of death. The drowning death toll currently stands at 16 compared to 22 for the same period last year. Several fire cases were reported over the last two-day period. In the Northern Division, a fire at the Nalemba Youth Training Center Boys Hostel destroyed the building and all its contents. Fortunately, there were no injuries and casualties, and the cost of fire is estimated to be worth more than $100,000. In Geleni Taviuni, a one-bedroom home belonging to a 40-year-old farmer was destroyed in a fire that is believed to have started in the kitchen. The estimated cost of damage is believed to be around $30,000. In the Southern Division, a three-bedroom home in Vunimoli Settlement along Reservoir Road was destroyed in a fire last night. The cause of the fire is yet to be established. Early this morning, a report was received from Davuilevu Housing that a car belonging to a 42-year-old man was engulfed in flames. Joint investigations with the National Fire Authority are underway. Joint task force comprising of the Republic of Fiji Military Forces and the Fiji Police Force were reminded today to do their best while on a surge deployment to the Solomon Islands and return home safely. Minister for Home Affairs and Immigration Pio Tikundundo, while farewelling the task force to Solomon Islands at the Black Rock Camp in Nandi, emphasized the importance of their mission. This team will assist with the Solomon Islands general elections. So you go with a lot of expectations. Not so much the expectation from here because from Fiji, the government, the RSM and the police know exactly the standard in which we perform. That is already a given that we have a professional uh, dedication to duty. And the knowledge of what you have to go and do is something that you already have. You already have to for it. That is not so important for us because you live here without trust. Tikodudua says Fiji plays a crucial role in maintaining peace and security wherever they are deployed to. But you will go there to perform on the expectations of those that have invited you. So, which means that they, you are coming across for them to invite you, means they expect a certain level. Of homeless women. That you already have. 
How best to deliver it is entirely up to you. In a good way or in a bad way. Each government has the responsibility to build on the achievements of the previous administrations. Prime Minister Sitiveni Rambuka stressed this during the Fiji Airport's limited 25th anniversary that was celebrated in Nandi last night. Eva Denford has more. In delivering the keynote address, Prime Minister Sitiveni Rambuka says Fiji Airports was formed to enhance cooperation with industry partners and stakeholders and provide necessary economic and social support in terms of employment at the Nandi International Airport, Nosori International Airport and the 13 Outer Station Airports. Public sector reforms were continued by the SDL government and the Mbainamarama and Fiji First administrations as well. These reforms will continue with enhanced structural adjustments for fair competition and efficiency gains in all economic processes at all levels. As I said in Parliament last month, each government has the responsibility to build on the achievements of previous administrations. He says the celebration was an opportunity to reflect on Fiji Airport's journey, acknowledge achievements and express gratitude to those who have contributed to the success of the organization. Fiji Airport is key to realizing our vision to be a vital player in aviation in the region. The growth and success of Fiji Airports has been at the heart of Fiji rise as an aviation leader and tourism hub and key to our recovery in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic four years ago. Rambuka says Fiji Airport is key to realizing their vision to be a vital player in the aviation in the region. You remain a key player to our collective goal of rebuilding our beloved Fiji. It was 28, 25 years ago that Fiji Airport was formed to do the following things. One, oversee our airspace and airport operations. Two, ensure our regional leadership in aviation industry. Three, to enhance cooperation with industry partners and stakeholders. Prime Minister adds that Fiji airports have grown from facilitating 500,000 passengers in 1999 to cover 2 million passengers a year. Eva Danford, Fiji One News. The Health and Medical Services Ministry is advising members of the public that from the 3rd of June, the ministry will no longer accept payments made with cash or check. FPOS, MPISA and MyCash are the only acceptable methods of payment at all Ministry of Health Revenue collecting offices and stations. This is in line with the government initiative for a cashless system to ensure effective and efficient management of public funds as well as to promote transparency and accountability. Sports is next. Stay with us. Tonight's sports news is proudly sponsored by RC Manubai, the most trusted name in hardware. Welcome back. The Melbourne Rebels shocked the two-time champion, the Rooster Chicken Fijian Drua women's team, with a 34-21 win at AMMI Park. The Drua got off to a flying start, scoring in the second minute with a length of the field effort finished off by fullback Atilai Tembuna. Buna then scored her second try in the 70th minute to close the margin to six points and set up a grandstand finish. Despite the loss to the Rebels, the Drua will host the Western Force in the semi finals on Friday the 19th of April at the HFC Bank Stadium in Silva. And out they go, Vani right. Buna on the far wing. Buna's been dangerous the past few weeks and Buna's away. Buna going through the Rebels' defence and will charge under the posts. Adelani Buna and the Fijian drew up a near perfect start. Brought down about 12 away. And Mamea. See a tongue of good hands. Paraisa and Kawa. Kawa. 
bundled towards the flag. Kahika skipper. A couple away. Drew are looking for try number two and the lead again. Strong defence from the Rebels. Under advantage, Fiji and Drew up. Diving under. Try, Fiji and Drew up. And they have the lead. But Drew up not holding their nerve. On the five, on the five. Yeah. On the tap and Masters. Diving Masters. There, ball's there. Salto! The Rebels. Nuku. Freeman again. Salto wasn't expecting it and Buna scoops it up. No one is stopping Adelaide Buna. And for the third time in two weeks, she streams away. Fatigue sets in. She dots it under and the Drua remain alive this evening. There it is, Nuku. Short. Hands up, hands up. The Rebels again, they're over. Meanwhile, Fijian Drua confirms that Rooster Chicken Fijian Drua Centre Merawai Dumu is recovering well after being concussed during a match against the Rebels yesterday. The match was stopped in the 65th minute when Dumu was stretched off after a heavy collision with Drua inside centre handed a red card for her troubles. In a st statement by the Fijian Drua, it's revealed that she was treated at the hospital overnight and will be discharged shortly and that well-being is of the highest priority to them. However, the centre will not be available for the semi-final on Friday. The Kaviti Silktail side has secured another partnership deal to compete in the New South Wales Rugby League competitions this year. This was made possible through the funding assistance from the Australian Government under the Pacific Oz Sports Programme. While officiating at the event, Prime Minister Sitiveni Rambuka acknowledges the partnership, saying this will continue to develop high-performance rugby league in Fiji. Rugby league has uh, grown in leaps and bounds, particularly in the last 20 or so years as far as Fiji is concerned. Uh, I was the first uh, president of Fiji Rugby League and got ousted uh, about a year later, only to be brought back in as a life member or something that uh, sounds good but means very little. But I'm glad to be here this afternoon uh, for the launching of this great collaborative effort between Australia and Fiji, particularly the, uh, the league fraternity. The partnership will enhance pathways to elite competition for Fijian rugby league athletes and enable the development of local coaches, match officials and support staff. We've uh, come a long way. We have our own uh, team. At, uh, we're very grateful to uh, the league in Australia for allowing a team, a Fiji team, to play in uh, in Australia. Rambuka looks forward to a favorable outcome that will birth from the relationship between Fiji and Australia. We welcome all our friends from Australia and uh, we welcome this adventure, uh, this uh, new arrangement and uh, I think we're all looking forward to what it means for us here in Fiji. So welcome. Thank you, Australia. This partnership also creates more opportunities for the next generation of Fijian sporting stars and highlight Australia and Fiji's shared love of rugby league as a means to further strengthen our sporting, cultural and community connections. Venina Songanga, Fiji One News. The Rooster Chicken Fiji Warriors will need to dominate in all areas of the game if they want to defeat Japan XV tomorrow in the second round of the 2024 World Rugby Pacific Challenge. Head coach Seni Rusi Serovakula, who leads the Fiji Warriors for the seventh time, recognizes the strength of the team. However, the side will need to play smart against the Brave Blossom, who leads the current uh, point standings. Uh, they do everything accurately. So that's the area we're going to try and, and uh, match them or even dominate from them, it's especially on the line-out. Uh, when they have their line-out in, in their green zones or blue zones, they definitely got them all, and, and they're, they're very good at it. So to, to conquer that, uh, we just need to be alert and bring the urgency and discipline and, and match them 
and match them and and and, and especially on our on our collisions. Sir Wakula adds that discipline was an area of concern and that they have promised to better in this game. It was the main focus, uh, especially against the Japan, uh, Japanese team on Monday, uh, especially on our tackle areas. Uh, we have to take it uh, down, no, not giving out a uh, late tackle or high tackle. So we've practiced that uh, during our uh, morning session this morning, and that's the main focus uh, this week. Amosi Secondary School took advantage of the Fiji Secondary School President's Qualification Meet that was held at the HFC Bank Stadium in Suva. The athletes fell short of qualifying to the Fiji Finals during the Coca-Cola Suva Zone 1 Meet that was held a fortnight ago. The school finished fourth during the zone, collecting seven gold and 14 silver. Namosi Athletics coach Vilive Lemba escorted two of his athletes to Suva, providing a second chance for them to qualify. Karena luar usaha tak cemil lagi, sahabat nama cerita dengan Fiji Finals. Salah tu dengan awak sebut orang ni, awak sebut orang kata ki, nak buku ni valu, mateng cuma karena korbul dasan. Satu tu saya berdoa ni, langgan korbul cilek ni mungkin lah, tak ambil binga muni lemar rotak nama ni baik tadi. Member adds that the school has progressed over the years in producing talented athletes that have done well at the games. Saya tiga puluh empat tahun itu program. Al sarang mungkin tu mi turun awal ni tapi ni girls division yang na super zone one. Ah, macam nak kau ni ambak ki, sama ni waktu lagi nurut tengah ni. Ah, pun buat sahaja kali mesti na ambak ni zone go. Tonight's weather news is proudly sponsored by Courts Quality Brands, Great Choice. Taking a look at the weather now, mainly fine conditions prevailed over Fiji today. A trough of low pressure affects northern parts of Vanuatu and extends eastwards to over, over Rotuma. Another trough of low pressure affects uh, Tuvalu, Tokelau and northern Cooks. Meanwhile, a broad easterly wind flow prevails over most parts of the tropical southwest Pacific region.